Okay, so check this out. Look at that. I wish this was mine. So hey YouTube, welcome back to the Mr. Man Show. If you're new here, make sure you have a ticket because uh, the conductor will be coming by and uh, collecting those. So if you don't have one, you'll be kicked off the train. Um, but today, we're taking a look at the best tech, best tech, best tech, however you want to say it, Fractal. So I want to say thanks to the Apex Passaround group for letting me check this out. Um, it's not my knife, but uh, I do have to send it back. But still, i um, glad to have this little bit of time with it to, uh, to play around and check it out, because this is definitely an interesting knife. So I first saw this, I wasn't quite sure how I'd like the rainbow color on the handle. It's a little funky. You can get these with just the plain titanium handles, because these are titanium. So, uh, yeah. Titanium and carbon fiber. I like the marble carbon fiber look. Adds a nice little contrast to it. Especially with just the gray titanium handles. I think that looks really good. This one's not bad, though. Um, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't tell anyone not to get the, uh, the rainbow one. If you want a splash of color, I think this actually is called the splash, or... Color, no, colorful. It's called the colorful. But uh, if you want the little splash of color, go ahead and get this one. It's not too obnoxious like some knives. You know, it's not a super crazy rainbow pattern or anything. It looks nice. Pocket clip, I don't really like the color of the pocket clip with the, the rainbow, but that's just me. You know, I almost prefer this to just be like a, you know, if it was just kind of the same splash anode as the, uh, the handle, I think it would look a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. And my opinion don't mean much. But uh, got a pretty cool blade shape on there. A uh, Warncliffe design. Got the little half grind line there, which looks pretty cool. S35 VN, I believe. Blade stamp in there. It's all fuzzy and blurry and out of focus because, yeah, Mr. Man ain't gonna take the time to focus that. But anyway, it's S35 VN. Titanium handles. I couldn't find any information if this has a ball bearing system in it, but I'm pretty sure it does for how smooth it is. I mean, just look at this. Like, this is probably the smoothest knife I've ever handled. It's crazy. I mean, it's kind of kind of ridiculous. You have a flipper tab so you can flip it, which works just fine. Or if you want, you can kind of use the thumb hole here to flick it. Um, it took me a little bit of getting used to the thumb hole. It's kind of nice though, because the, uh, the thumb hole here is actually rounded inside, so it's not sharp or anything, so you're not going to be cutting yourself on it. So that's pretty nice. Get a pretty interesting pivot right there. I kind of like when companies do a little funky stuff with their pivots. Kind of adds an extra little flair. It's not just, you know, you don't just see a screw there. Although, now I'm looking at it. Oh, never mind. There you go. I was wondering how you take it apart, but there's a screw hole there. You can see the screw there. You got some lock bar insert, because when you have titanium handles going up against a uh, steel blade, that tends to wear out really fast. Um, <coughs> hinder, <coughs> uh, strider, <coughs> um, sabendas, <coughs> yeah, they tend to wear out pretty fast, but, uh, a lot of companies now are putting that, uh, that little insert in there, which is nice. For the price point, I mean, this is around, like, uh, $200, I believe, um, I think Blade HQ has them for around $200, they have both, um, styles on there, the, the colored one and just the plain gray, which I'm kind of tempted to pick one up now, but, uh, I had to spend... 250 to fix my windshield. I gotta get new glasses, so that's about another 500 bucks out of my pocket. So, uh, don't quite know if I'm gonna have the money and the funds to pick them up. Plus, the stocks are down. What well, I went up, but anyway, yeah, Mr. Man's invested in stocks, so you know, I'm a high roller now. But this would be a cool knife, actually. I mean, this would be something that I definitely like to pick up. I just noticed the color and scheme of the uh, the backspacer does match the uh, the pocket clip, so eh, we can we can we can do with that. Let's see how lockup is on here. I've actually never checked that out. That's pretty rock solid, actually. Yeah, it's rock solid. Maybe teens. Nah, there's really no wiggle. And this has been through quite a few people before me, so I'm like the last guy it's it's gotten around to. So it's had its uh, its fair share of users. There's little triangle cutouts in the back. Some people might like those. Some people might hate those. I'm assuming you could use the back one or any of them actually for a lanyard. You could probably actually do a pretty cool like weave lanyard through if you want to like weave a lanyard through all of them. That might actually be pretty cool. I don't know. I ain't gonna do it. I'm not really gonna mess around with the knife too much because, like I said, it is not mine. But I wouldn't mind if it was. If someone wants to give me one, I'll put my address down in the link below. Or I'll link my address down below and then you can send me one. I ain't gonna do that. I'll probably have some a bomb show up to my house. So, yeah, we're not doing that. But, yeah, just uh, figured I'd make a quick little video on this guy. Not really a review because I haven't obviously used it heavily. I'm not going to use it heavily. I'm gonna baton through wood. We're gonna do a baton test. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna see how, uh, how sharp this tip is. Just get one little final last look at this here. Only complaint I guess I have with this carbon fiber is that it's not really pronounced marbly. Like, there's some marble carbon fiber that does it way better. Like, this, you can kind of tell a little bit, but not a lot. I mean, it's subtle. You can tell it is marble carbon fiber, but it doesn't scream it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. If you're, uh, 
looking for a pretty cool unique looking knife definitely check out the best tech beast tech however you say it best tech i call it best tech fractal cool name cool looking knife really sci-fi ish looking too if you want kind of a sci-fi design definitely a cool piece to add to the collection or as an edc piece or when the boogaloo hits or for the zombie apocalypse or when coronavirus takes over the world it'd be nice to have this by your side okay that's it for me i am getting out of here thank you for watching the mr man show and uh yeah, make sure to uh, pick up all your popcorn and your sodas and stuff on the way out. Don't trip over anyone in the dark and uh, come back again for the next full feature film that's more than two minutes long.